Oh, Canada. All right, I'll stop saying XIU. That's the iShares uh, SPTSX 60 index ETF. That is tradable on the TSX. All right, what do we have here, guys? I've been covering world markets and uh, through my Oanda CFDs. I haven't been giving too much attention to the Canadian stocks. And this is what the TSX looks like, guys. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Monthly candle charts, man. Monthly candle charts. That's a crazy, crazy, crazy stage two. Look at that on the monthly, never closing below. Never closing below that 12-month moving average. Sleep like a little baby, man. Sleep, sleep tight. Just awesome behavior. Pull away, sideways move, pull away, sideways move when you pull away too much. Wake up the, the bears, the sellers. Same here. Oh, got a scare. Buyers coming in, continuing. And you would have rolled that if you would have just looked at the monthly count. If you would have played stage analysis on the monthly and you would have entered here or maybe here around when the 12 month average started going back upwards. Man, how long? 2003 all the way until it's starting to get volatile. E going below, going back up, and right here, the close below the 12 month ring average. Sideways move here. You should have been out, guys, right about here. Even if it went back up, this was a warning sign that you were entering stage three. That's the final uh, blow off cap, blow off top, blow off top. And after that, we're going to the moon, guys. Nothing could beat us. And then timber, almost tweezer tops. And that's all she wrote. And that brought us all the way to 2008, guys. Line in the sand. Monthly defined line in the sand. Got to respect it. Close below that. Whipsaw chances minimized. Pain maximized if you decide to short when you don't have that confirmation. All right, that's what's 2008. Where are we today? Do, 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 do. All right, all right, all right. Here is the first line in the sand, 23, 2330. Get another one right here. Oh, actually close below right here. Close below. Ah, multiple levels, multiple support levels. Not always clean cut. The ultimate breakdown level is this level right here, the 2333. Open, close. Yeah, 2335. Tested some. Price action went back down on the weekly on the, and on daily. Probably saw some price action go below. But at this moment... The market says, eh, this is uh, the lowest we want to go. Next two months, tried to go below, didn't do it, closed above. And then after going all the way here to this top, tried again, go below, closed actually below that first, uh, that recently defined support. Sunk through, try to go through that, the deeper last line of support. And it did not Go through, guys. And now it's pulling back. November is actually ended. So now this is the last. And it actually climbed back up right back above. So it's a pullback towards that breakout line, breakdown line. So we're going to look on the weekly. 12 months average going downwards. Are we going to say that this was a natural pull, a natural bounce of that monthly defined support on the weekly? And then after that, when it bounced back up, hitting... That breakdown line that it's actually the price action actually sucked back down with uh, sellers and this would be a good opportunity to continuation short maybe we're gonna have to go and zoom on the weekly guys that's implied measure move of the further away target all the way down here to 20 off uh, the base of 2016 least greedy of targets is right here 
this move right here that we did of this top which has broken down which we see the pullback and this is a less greedy target hitting turbulence here at the support level check we already hit turbulence we tested it it brought us back up and this is the least greedy target all the way up to 21. all right that's how i see it 12 month average going downwards let's zoom in zoom 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 Stage two, stage three, stage two, a lot of action around the 30 week average. Now we're below. The more you went, you go sideways, the more you're thinning out that support. Each move cloud defined support. Now you're below it. Look at that arrow. Look at, ooh, big volume on that red day. Damage as a sword slice. Yeah. Damage, damage. Even here, you see it again huge red candle even if the price action went back up that's damage you need more sideways moves so the gyration the the churn to try to fix that damage from all that selling well it's happening here oh and instead of going back into a bona fide stage two you're still figuring out what to do with all these uh all these trap people that want to get even, they want to sell eventually. Had another similar slice right here, and now the price action is right, right here. Sideways move, bounce off that monthly defined support, which I let here. Is it on contracting volume, guys? It's starting to outperform the SPX. All right. So we got. What does Stan want? Mansfield, you want to be underperforming the SPX. You want to be uh, declining 30 week moving average. You want the price action to be below 30 week average. And right now, we're actually outperforming the SPX. And that's why this zone is not red. As soon as that the SPX starts outperforming us or we start going back down, as soon as we're below the zero line, this is going to start highlighting red giving us some weight, weight of evidence that uh, stage four is going to resume. So until then, you don't want to short if the price, if, the, if you're going upwards against the SPX, you want to really wait until you went over that, uh, that overperforming or of it until it starts going back down. So does that mean that we could actually go up higher? Can we go test this actual top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16 month top? Can we actually go back here, test close to that top and then go back down? And this would be a good risk reward entry. And that would complete some type of head and shoulder left, top, right, and then go back down. God, it's all possible. What else could I see? Volume, neutral, not really decreasing. So it's hard to tell right here. Definitely not short, definitely stage three. And I would actually say, yeah, definitely stage three, very close to a stage four, playable stage four. You could either wait for the pullback and when it starts going back down, then you could probably enter. But if you really, really want to be safe, really want to be safe, you could let all that price action do what it's got to do. And when after that, you get that close below here, right here on the monthly candle chart then you you can short because remember here look see I had price action below that monthly the beginning of that monthly defined support but remember weight of evidence you're still in the Ichimoku cloud it's still not mature yet it's still the beginning of defining of that monthly defined support and when you see you go across different time frames and you look 
at all the clues that we've uh, laid out that could signal a good stage four, uh, increase your chance of a successful decline. Well, if you're in the Chimuko cloud, it's not you're not quite ready yet. Like it, bring the price back up, going back down, uh, sucking it back up. But right now, that's why here I'm edging towards a stage four decline below the Chimuko cloud. Uh, we have the 12 month moving average going downwards. Remember on the monthly, we have the weight. The more you're below, the more you're dragging it down. And after that, when you go back up, you just it's going to be simple reversals, uh, you pull back instead of uh, reversals. Right now, it's uh, we have to wait. First thing, we have to wait for the menstrual wealth of strength to start going back down again. And after that, we could reassess to see if it's um, if we're on the right track for a short, guys. But until now, let's wait for a close below 20, 22, 30 on the monthly candle chart. So December, all this few more weeks, that's just four more candles here on the weekly, four or five. Let's just see what happens here. And after that, we could reassess uh, if we could short at the beginning of the new year, guys. So that's it, man. Just need a little bit more time. Patience. Timing is is key. Definitely not a stage two. Nothing to do here for a while. Uh, and uh, possible stage four. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, Canada. <clears throat> All right.